Oh my god. All you Arsenal fans were saluting all this, all that, but no, the only person saluting was Neil Morpé, ladies and gentlemen. Neil Morpé is living in every Arsenal fan's head rent free, including Matteo Guendouzi. Right into Arsenal 1. It's becoming a bit of a familiar scoreline, isn't it? How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Brighton versus Arsenal game, which happened yesterday. And my team, Brighton, took the 2 1 dub and we, we won it in a remarkable fashion, scoring in the last seconds. Everyone was blaming Neil Morpé for Leno's injury, and we'll get into that in a minute. But he was the goal scorer who won the game for Brighton and secured Brighton the three points. And it could be the vital three points which could keep us up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. 70% of you are not subscribed, so make sure you change that and hit that subscribe button. That means the world to me. And leave a like on this video. And let's get into this reaction. Come on. The Albion. Now let's talk about the game. The game itself was absolutely diabolical. Let's be honest. Until the 70th minute when Arsenal scored, that's when Brighton woke up and actually went for it. Performance-wise for Brighton, it was not the best and it needs to improve ASAP. Brighton never looked like scoring. Arsenal would probably look like scoring, to be honest, more than Brighton 100% because the Bamming had a few chances. Um, Matty Ryan pulled off some great saves and um, to be honest, I just don't know how we won the game. I said before that Brighton would get relegated and I did not expect us to win whatsoever. I was expecting us to go 1-1 draw. We'll take that. We'll take a point against Arsenal, especially the circumstances this game was under. Brighton were 1-0 down in the 70th minute due to Pepe's absolute scream and you must say it was a great finish but the defending needs to be better but in closing them down. Brighton like 5 minutes later go down the other end, have a corner and somehow we scrambled the ball over the line and Lewis Dunk gets the goal. I thought generally it was going to be another moment of Sheffield United um, Aston Villa. I thought because there's so many bodies in the box it wasn't even going to be allowed. So we'll, we'll move on we take the goal. It's 1-1 Lewis Dunk a happy days. Hopefully full time. It ends 1-1. But no. By the 95th minute, the ball's played into Connolly. Morpay dummies it. Runs around him. It's, the link up play was beautiful. Connolly chips it over the defender. And there's Connolly finishing it with left foot past Martinez. And Brighton fans go wild in the stands. AKA the card will cut out. And for those of you who weren't actually in the live stream and haven't actually seen my reaction to the goal, let's face it. I celebrated quite hard for this one. Shut up. Shut up. into perspective. Brighton took off a left wing in Trossard for Del Stevens, who is his defensive midfielder, to seal off the game for 1-1. It says it all, really. It says it all. We were going for the draw, but we end up winning. It, it means so much more than actually just winning the game. The circumstances of this game, I just can't believe we got the three points. But anyway, well, let's move on to the Leno talk now, because there's a lot to talk about for that. Now, there's a time in the first half where Neil Morpé jumped up and shoulder barged Leno as he was catching the ball. As he was catching the ball. Now, let me explain this. How is Neil Morpé at fault for like, Leno's landing? Okay, he's shoulder barged him, but it's not his legs landing for him. Like, no, 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 no. It, it wasn't the case. Everyone's saying more plays a cheat. you got Ty on AFTV crying his eyes out with it. Like, everyone's crying. I'm just, you just, just get a tissue. You have DT crying about it. you got Ty saying, you, oh, I hope Brian get relegated. Oh, come on, mate. You're a grown man, and you... you <laughs> Oh, come on, man. Now, Ty was crying as much as Gwen Dozy in that game, and that, that says a lot. But my opinion to the challenge, Morpay was going for the ball. Okay, he, hey, as he was about to jump, Leno was literally about to catch the ball. But then again, as a striker, you got to go for the ball, and you can't really just stop, stand still then. you got to keep on going. You've got momentum in your run. He shoulder barges Leno, which gets him off balance, and obviously in the landing, it just snaps his ACL. I don't, I don't want to predict it or, or assume that it was the case, but from what we, we saw, it could be an ACL injury. Morpé was not intending to hurt Leno whatsoever. It was not intended for him to be hurt. And come on, if you think that, you're deluded. Like, you must be. Leno was having a few words to Morpé as soon as he got up on his stretcher, you know, when they're walking away from the pitch. And he was still, he was still, go, still going at it, but I, didn't, I don't expect what it was meant to be doing to be honest he's injured but then again you got to understand that he's not intending to hurt Leno if he wanted to hurt Leno right now he'd be in the UFC not football now this is where I actually feel sorry for Morpé Arteta the coaches the players were getting on Morpé's back the whole of the game when Arsenal went one and up they were giving it a mouth to Morpé absolutely everything and then it all came back to buy him because of what they were doing to Morpé and to be honest fair play Morpé you, you reacted well in your interview and that's an interview which was well needed to be said. These players and staff are putting that much pressure onto Morpé and he's not going to be feeling good about it because he's not intending to hurt the player. And for Morpé to have the mental strength to overcome all of that and produce a 95th minute winner with his weaker foot 
Fair play to him. M Morpe, mate, you're a hero. You're an absolute hero. But you've all got to understand that Morpe did not mean to injure Leno. Like, we all know that Arsenal fans cry anyway, but you've got to understand that this happens every single game. Collisions with striker and goalkeepers happen. This is one which was a worse one, and obviously, Leno was injured. He had to be stretched off. Football's a contact sport, for goodness sake. This is not netball, man. It, like, come on. I really want to know your opinions on this situation with Leno and Morpe. Down in the comment section down below, but now, now it's Gwendozi. Right, mate, what a, what a pleb. Right, Gwendozi. Well, where do I start on this guy? So, first of all, Gwendozi should have got red carded for violent conduct at the end of the game. Punched Morpe, grabbed his neck, like, come on, my, my, I hope the FA come into this one because he deserves a red card for that. Gwendozi's still pretty sitting as GCSE, so I'm not sure why he's crying about, but he's just crying every all every single minute of that game. He's just crying and crying and crying. To be honest, I'm more furious with Brighton because they did not hand out a tissue in respect to Gwendozi, so Brighton, that's something we need to up, up next game. Uh, obviously, if, if, if a player cries, give him a tissue, our respect, obviously, um, especially if you, when you've got salty players like, like Gwendozi. But Gwendozi's attitude is so so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. It's so childish. Oh, he's such a child, man. But Gwendozi's still crying like a 16-year-old doing his GCSEs, man. Like, he needs to grow up. More pay scoring a 95th minute winner. Gwendozi saying all this to him the whole of the game. All the players, but mostly Gwendozi was saying stuff to, to Morpe and it's so unfair on him. He did not mean to injure the player and that's the one thing you've got to state in this. He did not mean to injure Leno. But hey, Trips is mad, DT's mad, Ty's mad, Claude's mad, everyone's mad and we love to see Arsenal fan TV because I definitely had the popcorn out yesterday watching that pile of absolute beautiful interviews. Beautiful interviews. The best interviews I've ever seen on YouTube. It was a class watch. Ty's salty as he wants Brighton relegated. But anyway, guys, talk about relegation. Do we actually get relegated now? That's the question. If Brighton can find four more points, then I think Brighton will stay up. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it of this video. What's your opinions on this Morpe, Leno, Gwendozi actions? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. And what can I say, boys? A 2-1 win, 95th minute winner. Football's back, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye, guys. Up the Albion.